I'm Amy Sherman. And I'm John Gonzalez. We're about to have a Michigan's Best Day traveling US 31 along Grand Traverse Bay. All summer long, the towns of Traverse City and Petoskey are packed with tourists, but cruising this stretch of highway is a great way to spend the day. Including two of our favorite lakefront towns, Elk Rapids and Charlevoix. We're starting our day here in Charlevoix, where boaters dock to dine, festivals draw crowds, and customers peruse the shops on Bridge Street, named for, you guessed it, the bridge. The drawbridge here on the channel opened in 1949. It opens and closes at the top and the bottom of every hour. And if you're on the footpath here leading out to the big lake, you can see the boats come through. It's pretty cool. Before we explore downtown, we should really hop on board these cool electric cars and check out these truly unique mushroom houses you can only find in Charlevoix. There's six seats, it fits 12 people, 18 bucks a person. It's a guided tour. Our host, Edith, was fantastic. Earl Young is the name of the man who built all of these. He was born 1889, he died 1975. Earl Young spent 50 years building 28 different homes in the downtown Charlevoix area. Their distinctive homes are all different. It does look like a mushroom growing it out of the does. ground. It does. <laughs> it really does. Notice how um, the roof is all wavy and curvy. He was really known for doing that. He would actually say he would design his roofs first and shove the house in underneath. He sounds like he was a character. He was a character. He only had one year of architecture school. He didn't even have blueprints. You can see he left his mark throughout Charlevoix. It's about a 50 minute tour. You're going to learn a lot. It's well worth the trip. We're about to hit the road, but first we're gonna stop into Harwood Gold for something to eat. They're known for their maple syrup treats and they have something special for you, John, that's just like a pasty. You guys have a farm actually just down the road that's well over 100 years old, right? Yep, 1898 we established there. We have the three grades of plain syrup and then 14 different infusions. The most popular ones are the bourbon, of course. Because who doesn't love bourbon anything? <laughs> yeah, Madagascar vanilla, cinnamon quill infusion's a big one. Mm -hmm. You get it right away in the aroma first and then it hits your tongue yep. and it, yeah, it Not explodes with though. this great spice. That's delicious. Yeah. We have jams, we have sauces, we have spreads, and the idea is that instead of using a white sugar or cane sugar or high fructose corn syrup, we only sweeten our products using maple syrup. Half of the store is a retail, all of our maple products. We have the other half as a cafe. So one of the more unique options you have here, and something I really don't see anywhere else, are meat pies. Yep, they're like a cross between a pot pie and a pasty, so. Oh, I can get behind that. <laughs> yeah, we have five different varieties, lamb, beef, chicken, and we have vegetarian options. So we got two to okay. try. Right. One is the chicken, and the other is the beef, which is the most popular pie. All right. Oh. Yum. It's like your mom's pot roast with carrots and onions and mushrooms and the gravy all put together in this little pastry packet. Oh, that looks really good, John. It tastes like a chicken pot pie. Move over, I want some. All right, go for it. <laughs> Located six miles south of downtown Charlevoix, you're gonna find a true hidden gem. It's the Beer Art Gallery. It's been around for more than 30 years. More than 100 regional and national artists are on display, including many from Michigan. Owners Tammy and Ray Beer have really pulled together this well-sourced collection of some great art. It's all inside this old turn-of-the-century schoolhouse. They have a cool bell. Yes, I even tried to ring the bell. Once you leave, you can walk up some steps and you'll find their son, Tyler. He has opened up a brewery overlooking Lake Michigan. It's a scenic view. It's a really fun stop along the trip. The entire East Bay shoreline from Elk Rapids to Charlevoix is home to some of the best beaches for hunting rocks in the state of Michigan, including 
the famous Petoskey Stone. We recommend you get a little bit into the water to find those stones. Their colors just shine when they're in the water. We love Barnes County Park, home to an annual Petoskey Stone Festival and great for hunting rocks anytime. If you don't find any, like John and I, you can also have a stone skipping contest, which is just as fun, even if you lose, like me. Winner. The whole highway is lined with orchards and farms as far as the eye can see. And not only are they beautiful to look at, they create some incredible produce that you can pick up to take home with you. Some of the places even have bakeries, like King Orchard, where we are right now. They make donuts for John, pie for me. They also have things like cherry salsa and honey and all sorts of other things you can get to take home as a memento of your trip to this area. Mm. <laughs> this pie Fantastic. is incredible. The crust is amazing. Yeah. It is a combination of cherry and raspberry. That's just the right amount of tart and sweet. Mm -hmm. That crust is so good and I don't know, I'm gonna have another bite, why not? I like it. This is a great way to spend the day. Around the globe, this is where all the wine regions are. That 45th parallel is where, where you're gonna get some of the best environments for growing the grapes. I find the 45th parallel to be a perfect place to drink some cold beers <laughs> at Shorts. Here at the Elk Rapids production facility for Shorts Brewing Company, one of the employees will lead you through the whole brewing production phase. The tour begins where they store all of the grain that forms the base of your beer. Then you get to go into the malting room, check out the big tubs where they brew up the beer, and then most fascinating of all, see the bottling and canning lines in action up close. Afterwards, you get to try some of the freshest beer you'll ever have from Shorts Brewing Company, one of Michigan's best. All right, John, we did the tour. We tasted some incredible beers. We even got some crawlers to go. I want to take you to a place that's right around the corner that distills some amazing spirits. It's called Ethnology. Let's do it. Nick and Jerry Lefevre opened Ethnology in 2017 with incredible passion and a commitment to purchase every single one of their ingredients locally right here in Michigan. We wanted to raise our family here and this was a creative solution where we could support our farmers and neighbors, but more importantly, produce a, a world-class spirit um, that is really representative of, nor of Northern Michigan. It's this beautiful kind of culmination of art and science, and that's where we kind of came up with the, the, the business from. Every drop of distillate is made in-house. We don't source, uh, and we never have and never will. The support here has been amazing. I don't think we could have asked for any better. Yeah. We've got a great local following. Just met some really great people, and yeah. feel pretty fortunate. And while they make a traditional vodka and a gin, they also make some untraditional offerings, including a blue corn white whiskey, and probably their favorite product, the Mel which is a liquor made with over a thousand pounds of honey in every single batch. Jerry can take you on a tour of their sweet little distilling room and walk you step by step through the process, which is utterly fascinating. And after the tour, you can enjoy a tasting in the barrel room or head over to the bar for one of these many specialty handcrafted cocktails like the Gemesis, which is a smoky drink, but very well balanced. Or the Prince, which is this incredible purple color. Thank you, purple one. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You know you're going to need a break after a long day on the road. That's why we recommend Pearl's New Orleans Kitchen here in Elk Rapids. Pearl's has been a Northern Michigan mainstay for more than 20 years and the menu is so extensive. If you love Cajun and Creole cuisine, you're going to love this place. We tried the etouffee, the jambalaya, and the gumbo yaya. If you're going to order one dish, definitely get the etouffee. It has this incredible blend of crawfish and andouille sausage. This one is like stick to your ribs. Like it's hearty and it's gonna fill you up after a yeah. long day on the road. It's fantastic, you're gonna love it here in Elk Rapids. Before heading out of town, cruise down Elk Rapids River Street to check out the blue waters of the bay one last time. and do some window shopping downtown. Just look around. 
I don't think you're going to find a more beautiful area in Michigan to explore. And if you come at just the right time of year, you can check out these fields and fields of gorgeous sunflowers. This is all at Maple Bay Nature Reserve, just a little bit south of Elk Rapids. It's absolutely incredible here. Just stunning. From exploring mushroom houses in Charlevoix to searching for Petoskey stones in the lake and eating incredible food the whole way, we've had a Michigan's best day cruising along US 31 on Grand Traverse Bay. Until our next adventure, we'll see you soon. This episode of Michigan's Best Day was brought to you by the Michigan Retailers Association, which encourages Michiganders to support their communities by shopping at nearby retailers.